Hey, everybody, it's time to circle the wagons again because the Coon Prairie Ramblers are in the house. That's where we confabulate and mind meander on all kinds of subjects. In the house here to help confabulate, we've got the world-famous KC and the Moonshine Gang. Howdy, howdy. Oh, are yeah. we going to spread it or are we going to slather the malarkey? Slather down. Slather me on me. And <laughs> off to the, the side there, we got the Rebel Without a Clue, Luke. Here we are, ready or not. And me, the mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, Mailman. <laughs> I just learned something new this morning. <laughs> hey, isn't the weather out there nice? It's it's our faithful companion here. Oh, and, and our producer, yes. the Yerica. Keep us, tries to keep us on time and on topic and yeah, wait and awake and not chasing rabbits. Uh, well, never mind. That's old Codgers <laughs> nod off. Just keep us awake while we're on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> like a pea shooter. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Hey, uh, how's it going, everybody? We yeah. ready to roll? I'm it's ready going. To rock and yeah. Roll. Yeah, it's pretty cool. nice uh, over here in our neighborhood on sunny Asbury Street. Yeah, it's not going to rain this morning. No. Really? No, it's going to rain. I left no my windows more. down just to prove it. Ain't going to rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't going to rain no more? One more time. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Y'all still there? You still yeah. out there listening? Yeah. Oh, we got a request to never do that again. Yeah. Already yeah. the light, the <laughs> phone lines are lighting up. We're getting the hairy eyeballs from Erica. We better quit that. Oh. I think what I'm waiting for the day we get so famous yeah. that people start bringing snacks and coffee by to us. That's right. Bring, yeah, bring them snacks. That's donuts, a hint. pizza, mm -hmm. egg McMuffins. Yeah, yeah anything you want to bring on by. Gay friends out there know, know about that? Monday at 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah. 10 o'clock. Don't bring it by when you're when you're hearing this on the radio. Over 14, nobody will be here. WFLN. Asbury Street, whatever the address is. Go to the end of the road will be the, the last building on the right, the little flag out front. Yeah, and, I, and my car windows are down. Just throw whatever's left inside the car. That's <laughs> right. Monday, 10 right. o'clock. Don't forget. And the weather's great. Weren't we saying something about the weather earlier? The weather? Weather? The weather outside ain't frightful. Well, it. it hasn't rained this morning. Yeah. Or at least right here but it hasn't. It has. It knocked oh, really? me up. Oh. Out of a wow. dead sleep about 12. I heard it when it started. I was still awake. I'm glad you're not dead anymore. We <laughs> have been getting the rain here. Have you seen the river bridge? Mm -hmm. My goodness. It's time to get an inner tube, if you can find one, and jump in and float down on high water. My father, when the Horse Creek gets real or used to, when the Horse Creek gets real high, you know, it would be almost right to the bridge. Oh, yeah. He would say Horse Creek is horse. It's horsing. Mm. That's a pretty good saying. Right? Yeah, I, I like how when you, you gets up above the the barbed wire fence. Yeah, just talk to yeah. Royce about that. He'll tell you the story. Oh, that's the right. Yeah, the, you, yeah, over on 760, there's a barbed wire fence down in the ditch there, and the overflow gets up above it. And I'm thinking, man, it'd be dangerous if you was down there floating around and <laughs> standing that too? barbed wire. Yeah. We saw it happen. Yeah, come to think of it, Royce, yeah, I think he's got a story about that. that. Yeah. On Joshua Creek? All right. Well, what about the rain? You getting any over here by your oh, place? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, you know, with all the rain I had yesterday, there was only an inch. And oh, really? I dump it every day, but the day before I had a couple, two, it was three inches. Yeah, about three at the yeah. house, yeah. But my ditches are full. I got an old abandoned railroad track that goes past my house. There's a ditch on each side of it, plumb full. And the culverts don't drain it away. In fact, when the county came there, I shouldn't tell the story about the county, but Ooh. they put the culvert in wrong. <laughs> Wrong direction? My son. Can you put a <laughs> well, my son, I put an east my west son, the north and south. I was at work, and my son no came uh, came in, and he said, Dad, he says they were out there when they was putting that culvert, you know, across the road. They was arguing which way the, the water flowed. So I think they made the wrong decision. It's flowed. Our culvert's taped They got the high end on the wrong side. I don't mm -hmm. know. So they put the inlet. Where the outlet was supposed to be. In yeah, I hate when that happens. It just yeah. sets there. Just sets there. And you know what water smells like after a while, you know? Stagnant. Yeah, that, that, that sour smell. You got mosquitoes too? Yeah, there are, but I don't get out and wait for them to come. I, I haven't counted them. But we do have that, that little truck that goes down the road, you know, that sprays that stuff. Yep. Well, we had a goodly mm -hmm. storm mm -hmm. roll in about 6 o'clock last night. Mm -hmm. Didn't I? I was out in Owens, and we got it out there, lining mm -hmm. too. And me and Kathy went and got on the porch and sat there and watched it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then finally one of them made us about Boom. Yeah. 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 <laughs> jump off that porch. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't leave. We stood the ground and uh, stood yeah. our seats and or sat our seats, and <laughs> we kept yeah. watching it. But it was so pretty to sit out there. I mean, it was quite a lightning storm, but it was mm -hmm. more out towards Owens and then 
pine level and he was looking he was looking, looking west. We flat got we were out, out there. Yeah, we were west and looking west. We just got like a a good sprinkle. We didn't get that big rain, but it it sure looked mm-hmm. ominous. And I mean, there was a lot yeah. of lightning. And I was trying to get some shots, but they were just too far apart. Oh, we were coming home from church last night, and it was getting dusk. And I, I told Karen, I said, look at that. Off to the west, it is really tumultuous. And over to the east, it's tumultuous. And then heading south, it was a little bit better looking. So look, we're doing good heading south. You're in the eye of the storm. Yeah. Yeah, it was swirling. My goodness. Well, you know, what I'm not very good at is remembering dates of when we had famous famous rains. Rains. What Floods. was it like? Ninety one or something? That, when it really flooded really bad. It was sometime in the early '80s. We got one where we were, I know it around '82 or so. It went all the way up into the KO campground and flooded. Yeah, I, I remember. It was that. a couple of feet up that above overflow, the door. I mean, that overflow was on the a river. Yes. Was that during the El Nino season? I don't know. That's before we ever heard of El Nino. We never heard mm. of him back then. He yeah. hadn't been born yet. That's right. Yeah, where'd they get him at? I don't know. Mm. Now, now it's El Nino, La Nina, or whatever. Well, there's two. Of the migrants brought him in. Yeah, yeah, but, they go uh, hand in hand. I took some pictures of, of the water up like that back in '82. Oh, yeah, it was. Well, even uh, uh, Park. I think it was '82. Uh, uh, Veterans Park. Which mm-hmm. Yeah, that was co- completely underwater. Completely underwater. Flooded. Wasn't even a part well, of in about ninety six or ninety, about ninety seven or ninety eight, uh, the Veterans Park was flooded. It was an El Nino season. Remember? Well, because I was living down that way at that time. Well, you know, just a uh, week or so, about a week ago, we had the anniversary of Hurricane Charlie. Mm-hmm. We forgot to talk about that last week, but we yeah. did get a lot of rain then. Yep, and a lot of wind. Yeah, a lot of bad a lot stuff. of wind. Yeah, I think the wind blew the rain away. Yeah, we weren't it was, it was a, they called it a wind event, is what they said. Wind event. Yeah. We, uh, most of us, were expecting it to go to Tampa. Mm-hmm. That had been their forecast. Yeah, faked us out. Yeah. yeah. But and then that went, weatherman down you know, there. They knew it in Tampa before it ever went up there. They knew that it had made that the bobble in the bobble. towards Arcadia. Yeah. And they didn't want to announce it because they still wanted the people to evacuate. Oh, yeah. Just oh, thanks in so. case. It wobbled back again. Thanks a lot. So we didn't get to evacuate. We didn't get to We were sitting at home there. He said, and at, uh, Very late. Well, we don't need to evacuate. And that guy said, there's, uh, there's a bobble here, and it's heading up your way. So uh, we just sat there and watched it come. They got in the mouth of the river. and Were you in your current house? No. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. With my current wife. <laughs> <laughs> the, latest, <laughs> the latest flame. <laughs> the many loves of the She was in the closet, we and I was in the bedrooms looking that. out the windows. Yeah. Actually, I was going to set out on the, back, on the back porch and uh, watch the thing come because I never really watched the hurricane go through. I think Donna. He was standing at the window. And then, uh, my wife said, you better get in here. And risk your log coming through yeah. and taking him out. And then I, we got this great big oak tree with a branch hanging down and a big old gusher with whoo. And all of a sudden, that branch went from one side of the tree over to the other side of the tree. Well, and I said, honey, I'll be in in a second. I'll teach you. Well, we better blow on out of here like a storm. We got a pause for station identification. It's a commercial. We all keep your seats. We'll be right back. Pay the piper. Yeah. Yeah.